Hatching boundary set. Uh, sometimes, uh, let's go up and do a hatch. And when we do a hatch internal point, when we're picking a point, uh, it's calculating the entire viewport. And sometimes that's just too much um, performance for the CPU to handle. There's just too much going on. So if that's the case, we can limit the area that AutoCAD has to determine uh, where to place its hatching and we can set a boundary set. To do that, we're going to go up over here under boundaries and we're going to hit the down arrow to the extended menu. We're going to come over here to select a new boundary set. Then it'll say, all right, select objects. I'm just going to pick and I'm going to drag and I'm going to create a window here and I'll pick. Now only this area now is going to be calculated for, and I hit enter, it's the only area that will calculate a hatching pattern. So now when I go to pick an internal hatch point, I can place, and maybe I might want to change my hatch pattern a little bit, but I'll come in here and I'll pick, and I'll place it, and I'll hit enter. And what we just did is we eliminate AutoCAD from calculating all the rest of the viewport. We only calculated the area in this boundary set. And sometimes it gets very hard to calculate when there's a lot of stuff going on. So usually we either want to zoom in on the area that we want to uh, hatch to aid our selection, or we want to use the previews, you know, when we pick or hover over before we pick uh, to confirm that we got the correct boundaries. Uh, we might want to turn off layers or freeze layers to get rid of some of the interference and we can also use smaller boundary sets of areas to hatch smaller areas as well. Um, but typically uh, this is a good area, a good way to just limit AutoCAD's calculations to the area in which you want to set your boundary at, your pick your internal point at.